Hi there and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be starting my fragrance collection series. A number of you have asked to see my fragrance collection and I have so many bottles I could never fit them in one video so I'm going to actually turn them into a series and upload videos every once in a while showing you my whole collection. So this is the first part and I'm going to be showing you the fragrances that I actually house in my bedroom. These are kind of my favorites or the ones I'm wearing at the moment or new ones I've added to my collection and then the majority of my fragrances are actually in the room next to my bedroom. And then I mentioned on my channel I've also kept every single bottle I've ever owned. So the empty bottles uh, are actually housed in a box and if you'd like to see an empty bottle collection just let me know and that could be its own video as well. So let's get started. I won't be mentioning every single note or anything or getting really into the nitty gritty. I'm just going to show you the collection um, in this first part. So first fragrance is Girl of Now Shine by Ellie Saab and this one's a really orange blossom almondy pistachio fragrance. It's delicious. I love it. Then if you've been watching my channel you know I love Belle d'Afrique by Vibrato. Yeah, it's just totally me. It's very clean and floral and fresh. I love it. Then, I always forget what this one's called. It's either Fleur de Chloe or Fleur de Parfum by Chloe, but yeah, it's a citrusy floral and you really have to like florals to get into Chloe's. Then we have You by Glossier. It's an irisy kind of fragrance that takes on whatever your body chemistry is. It's really nice. I'm about halfway done that one. And then I've got the regular Girl of Now by Ellie Saab. This one's quite nice. It's a little less sweet than the Girl of Now Shine. Then we've got Creed's um, Jardin de Malfi. If you've been watching, you know I don't like this one, but I do like the bottle, so I keep it here in my bedroom for now. Then I've got my three uh, Casa Marati Zerjoff fragrances. The first one's Lyra. It's a really nice cinnamony, caramelly, a warm fragrance. Then I've got La Tosca. It's a violet fragrance. It's beautiful. And then Dama Blanca, which is kind of citrusy, powdery, floral. That's that. Then I've got Tiffany & Co. by Tiffany, the original fragrance. And this one, it's a little bit more mature. It's, it's floral, but yeah, I would say it's a little bit more mature. It's quite nice. And I adore this one. It's just Burberry Her, the original. It's got a little bit of that Bacart Rouge 540 vibe, but it's strawberries and cream. It's totally beast mode. It's stunning. I love it. And the fragrance I'm wearing today, Feminin Pluriel by Maison Francisco de Jeanne. Oh, it's stunning. It's floral and fresh and shampooy. It's beautiful and so feminine. Then Boucheron Fleur by Boucheron. It's a really nice springy floral. A little aquatic. It's nice. And a very sickly sweet honey fragrance. It's Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Yeah, it has that really, really strong honey note with some florals. I've got Candy Kiss by Prada. That's my favorite candy. It's very irisy and lipsticky and powdery. Then I've got all of the collection that Zara and Jo Malone did together. They all look like this in the 40 mils. They just have the different names. If you'd like to see a full review on all eight bottles, because I'm not going to bring them out, I have a video on my channel going more in depth, but this is what they look like. They're all really nice. This middle section has some of my favorites. So two of my more recent buys are Tom Ford Black Orchid and Yves Saint Laurent's Black Opium. They're both really nice. Just kind of, at this point, really well-known fragrances, but they're nice. Uh, Delina by Parfum de Marly. I, I love, it's rose and rhubarb and lychee and musk, extremely girly, very, very girly, and very nice. Then one of my favorites of all time, the best white tobacco. Oh, it's Amour Sunshine, it's a masterpiece. Completely beast mode and stunning. Then I've got Lacoste Pour Femme. This one's really interesting. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but it's nice because it just smells like clean skin and it's really nice. If you find it, definitely pick it up. It's quite inexpensive. And then Truth by Calvin Klein. It's a citrusy, green, 
grassy, very 90s fragrance. I've got three little minis by Chloe. Chloe Love Story Eau Sensuel. Just the regular Chloe Chloe, I think. And then Chloe Love Story. Then I've got Alien Eau de Toilette by Thierry Mugler. I'm sure everyone knows what this smells like. It's very strong jasmine, very unique. This is the Eau de Toilette before reformulation. I've heard now it doesn't last as long, which is unfortunate. Same goes for Dior Addict. This is the 2012 reformulation. It's stunning. The newer version smells nothing like this, but this one, it's an incredible gourmand. It's delicious. I love it. And then the Eau de Toilette of Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. I got a really good deal on this. I picked it up for like $39.99 at Marshalls when it was, you know, at the height of its popularity. And it's really nice. It's a nice floral. One of my favorites of all time, Insolence by Guerlain Eau de Toilette, a candied violet of my dreams. I won't go in too much depth about this one, but I love it. Then um, I love fragrances depending, not depending on, you know, their gender or anything or what gender they're marketed towards. I have a number of unisex or fragrances that are marketed towards men and I don't mind. I wear what I want and this is actually one for men. It's the Impudent Cousin Matthew from the Portraits Collection of Penhaligans. I think it's totally unisex. It's very clean and citrusy and beautifully blended. They all have these really heavy nice tops caps with different animals. If you like a really nice citrus, definitely look into that. It's stunning. And then I have two Bond number nines. Bond number nine, my favorite one is the Fire Island. It's neroli and beachy and sunscreeny and sandy. It's stunning. It's really, really nice for summer. And then the other one is Madison Soiree. And this one, it's, it's definitely more difficult to wear. It's a floral. It's extremely aldehydic. It's got a lot of aldehydes. It's very sparkling because of those aldehydes, so it's not a safe blind buy. But if you can get a sample or if you like those kinds of fragrances, definitely check it out. Over here, I've got the classic and slightly dated Poison by Dior. Yeah, it's just very plummy, classic fragrance. My Baby Gucci 2 Eau de Parfum. It's creamy and woody and fruity. It's stunning. Gucci has to bring this one back. It is too loved to have gone discontinued. Ariana Grande's Cloud. Yeah, it's got that Baccarat Rouge 540 vibe, but a very, very sweet whipped cream is what I get from it, and it's really nice, actually. Almond Harmony by House of Oud. It's a sweet almond marzipan, very, very sickly sweet, and very strong, long-lasting fragrance. I love it. Halloween by J. Del Pozo. That Halloween range. It's okay. I I like the violet part, but there's a marine accord. I've spoken about this that I'm not a fan of. Then we've got the uh, Aqua de Parma Nobile range. There's five in total. I'm missing Iris and Jasmine, which I'd love to get. This is Peony Nobile. Yeah, it's just they each kind of showcase the flower in question and then citrus. So this one's Magnolia Nobile and this one's Rose Nobile, and they're all nice. And then two more Aqua de Parmas. I have Aqua de Parma Colonia. I think it's unisex. It's a lemony, fresh fragrance. And then my more favorite of that is the Aqua de Parma Colonia Essenza. It's just creamier, soapier. It's kind of like a barbershop fragrance, but niche, it's really nice. Then I've got a North Bondi by Way. Way is a hair care brand by Jen Atkin, who does a bunch of celebrities' hairs, um, hair and hairstyles, and I love her hair products, and I loved the smell, and then she came out with two fragrances that smell like her hair products, and North Bondi was my favorite of the two, and it's got a magnetic cap, which is quite nice. Then Dylan Blue by Versace. A lot of people hate this one, and honestly, I get it. It's a pretty generic kind of shampoo-y, floral, mass appealing, but if you like those kinds of fragrances, then you should get it. I mean, it's fairly inexpensive now. You can get a good deal on it. The bottle's beautiful, and it is a nice floral. It's just nothing special. I do really love Olympia Aqua, though, by Paco Rabanne. 
This one's stunning. It's got ginger flower and a salted vanilla note, which is just delicious. Then I've got Cotton Musk by Durance. It's a French brand. It just smells like sweet, pure baby powder, so you have to be into that. But if you are, it's beautiful. And then Classique by Jean-Paul Gaultier. It's got his classic orange blossom note, and yeah, it's really nice. This is the Eau de Toilette. And then L'Imperatrice 3 or L'Imperatrice 3 by Dolce & Gabbana. Kind of like a watermelon, rhubarb, kiwi. It's tart and fruity and great for heat. So if you're in somewhere where it's really, really hot, this one's incredible. Another cologne, um, One Million Privé for Men by Paco Rabanne. It's great. It's like cinnamony and vanilla and hookah smoke. It's really, really interesting and I like it. And then 4711. I've shown this before. It's citrusy and floral. It's just a classic eau de cologne. And this is the 100 ml bottle that I use and I actually refill it with my 800 ml bottle over here. So yeah, that is my part one of my collection and the full collection that I actually keep in my bedroom, at least for now. If you'd like to see more videos from me, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. And of course, I'll be continuing on with my fragrance collection series. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.